Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Clarkson and Anna Clarkson from the Clarkson House and just want to say a happy blue and gold day. We're wearing our blue and gold for Spirit Week this week and um, today is Monday the 30th of March and normally on a normal school day today you would be inside in school and in the computer class with me but we can't be there so I thought I'd do something fun. So we're going to do a STEM design challenge because I have a feeling that you're getting plenty of computer work doing your regular school work. So we're going to do something fun so you can build, design, and then show me your cool stuff. Have your parents send me pictures of it. Um, we even have an extra special helper today, and that would be Flat Augie. Flat Augie is a great designer, STEM. He loves doing STEM stuff, and uh, he's going to be a big help to us today. So today... What we're going to do is we're going to build tin foil boats and see if we can get them to float and see how much they can carry. So for today's design, here's what you need. You need two pieces of aluminum foil. They're about a foot by a foot in size, about the same size. And the reason why you need two is you're only going to use one to design your boat, but you always want to have a backup in case you make a mistake or if you want to make your boat a little bit better, you can always go back and fix it and try it again. You will also need a piece of paper and a pencil, like this, and some pennies. And I have my little jar of pennies here, and there's probably about 50 pennies in here, because I'm being optimistic that maybe our boat will hold 50 pennies. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to design your boat, okay? And that's what you're paper and your pencil are for. So here we go, we have a design on this side and you can see Matt got super fancy with his Titanic boat on this side. I want you to draw out what you think your boat is going to look like when you make it with the aluminum foil. And think about a couple different things, right? What kind of bottom does your boat have? Some boats have flat bottoms and some boats have rounded bottoms. You know, do you want your boat to be long? or a little bit wider. Think about all those things when you're working with your design and you're thinking, how is this best going to float and hold as many pennies as possible? So then after you have your design, it's ready to get to work with the aluminum foil. And then you fold your aluminum foil into a boat, into a shape of a boat, whatever you want to do. And once you have your boat done in here, I have Matt over here. Matt built a boat for us already. This is Matt's boat, okay? And I have a bucket of water right here. I'm gonna put it right on my lap. So if you don't have a bucket or a container of water, you could do this like in the kitchen sink or run some water in the bathtub and test out your boat in your bathtub. Huh? In your bathroom. Yeah, the sink in the bathroom, that works too. So we're gonna take Matt's boat here and the first test is just to see if it floats, right? We're going to put it in. Ooh, it's floating. Good job, Matt. Now we're going to drop pennies in there and see how many pennies it can hold before it starts going down. All right. But here, we're not going to keep the suspense. I'm not going to tell you how many pennies Matt's boat's going to hold. We'll keep that to the end. We'll test that out. Okay, we're good, Matt. We'll test that out. And I will let you know how many pennies the Clarkson boats hold. But first, I want you to go and design and build your own boats. And if your first boat doesn't work, I want you to go back and design it and rebuild it and see what works best. Let me know. Have your parents send pictures into either my email or to our Facebook page. And let me know how your design goes. Have a great week.